yo, 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 it's your boy, uh, Educated Brother Uno. We do it out here in these streets, man. And today, man, yo, Kenny. What's good, brother? What's good? Introduce yourself before I let this shit off. What's good, guys? This is your boy, Kenny the Caveman Lizardo. And you guys can find me at All or Nothing channel. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man. So... This is a um, story that's, uh, that came out. Shooter shot a little boy. He walks free, making bond on Tuesday. It has this family angry and confused. And I'm trying to figure out how he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kid. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son, Kobe. He tried to hit me with a sledgehammer, but that's not going to work because I'm too fast. So then what did he do? Got a gun, boom, shot me right here. It's all on video Saturday afternoon on Candlewood Lane. You'll see kids playing, hear a gunshot, then Kobe realizes he's hit. Lee Wen allegedly fired through his front window. The bullet went in Kobe's arm and out the other side. Did it hurt? Yes. You point to it, show us where it's at. Right now he's not even processing exactly what happened. You know, he don't realize how close he came to not being here, um, but I realize it. 29-year-old Lee Wen is charged with assault with intent to murder. He's apparently had issues with neighbors in the past, and this time, Dad Arnold suspects Lee Wen was mad. Kobe's bike was in his yard. I'm irate, really. I mean, I can't, I can't function, and I don't know what to do. A Washtenaw County judge gave him a $10,000 cash bond, which he made Tuesday. This is him walking out, picked up by family. The prosecutor's office shocked at the low bond. They're filing an emergency motion to get it changed. A judge's order not to return home, but it's a piece of paper, says Arnold. I'm scared for my family. You know, but I, I'm scared for them because I don't know what he's capable of. Reporting in Ypsilanti, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, I, I think that's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's unfortunately, unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. I think that's unfortunate. And damn, that's 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 crazy. But yeah. you know, you know what I find interesting. You know what I find interesting about that story, yeah. though, the fact that they only said, eh. Kid got shot. Yeah. They never mentioned the person's race. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't mention his nationality, his race, or nothing. They just mentioned that the kid got shot. Mm. Like mm. that's. I, I find that interesting. Uh, you know. Because anytime it's a black person that does something, they right away mention the person's nationality. Mm. Yo, here's the thing, right? Here's the way I feel about this shit right here in these streets, man. Like, yo. I don't know. Well, I don't know why you guys don't see it. Like, especially like the uh, black community. Why you guys don't see that y'all y'all actually being played right in front of your face? You don't see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause think about it, right? Regardless, right, of what this man did, you can't do nothing, right? Because ooh, there's an Asian hate crime bill. President Biden today signing a bill to combat the growing number of hate incidents against Asian Americans, more than 6,600 in one year. Kristen Welker is at the White House for us. Kristen, there was broad support for this. Lester, there are few bipartisan moments in Washington, but this was one of them. President Biden signing legislation that aims to combat the recent rise in hate crimes, particularly against Asian Americans. The bill improves hate crime tracking and bolsters support for state and local officials. The president called hatred and racism the ugly poison that has long haunted our nation. It's worth noting this was one of the first large indoor gatherings of the Biden administration. Almost everyone without a mask. <laughs> so you can't touch this nigga. <laughs> Yo, that nigga got an Asian hate crime bill to protect him. 
and y'all ain't got nothing, son. What's the what's the a- anti hate black bill? Where that at? Thanks, and where's that? Yo, y'all that's... niggas ain't getting nothing, nigga. The nigga is nothing. It's nothing, nigga. My man get Thanks. to shoot. Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's son. crazy. That's true. For years, yo, we getting murdered. Yeah, where, where, where's the black? Where's, where's the wait, black? Wait, 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 wait. None wait. of that? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They could have passed it. Another side was passed Yo, it. talk to yeah. Joe Biden, son. Yo, the nigga, yo, instantly, soon as, yo, he felt like the Asian hate crime was on the rise, which was perpetuated by majority black people, by the way. All right? Disturbing surge of racist attacks against Asian Americans. Here's CBS's Nancy Chen. This surveillance footage shows a 71-year-old Asian grandmother violently shoved to the ground, her purse stolen. Just one of several attacks in California's Bay Area recently. A 91-year-old man pushed in Oakland's Chinatown, one of three attacks that day. 84-year-old Thai American Visha Ratanapakti knocked over while out for a walk. He died a few days later from his injuries. His family saying they believe it was rooted in racism. This guy should not be lined up back on the street. He should be charged with with murder. If you see the video, there's nothing non-intentional about it. Asian American leaders say these attacks are a trend, not isolated incidents. Mm. Yo, nigga signed a bill. <laughs> Real quick. Real quick. But as soon as, yo, y'all niggas, y'all getting killed out here in these streets? <sighs> No mention. Nothing, nigga. Yo, we ain't getting nothing. And y'all still fucking with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing, too, right? The same leaders that, you know, you know, line all of y'all up to vote for this man or to vote for, you know, a political party that do nothing for y'all are the same motherfuckers that's quiet about this shit. And then they working on their next rally to rally you guys up to vote for them again. It's all about money to these motherfuckers, man. They don't even see you as people. It's easy to take advantage of you. I mean, like, yo, why even bother if I get, I can guarantee a vote? Why even bother do anything for you? If I can, if I get, if you, no matter what you, you're here, why even? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mission accomplished. If I go to work and I'm, and I'm getting paid regardless if I show up or not, I ain't going to show up like that. <laughs> Same thing. I think it gonna do shit for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, what about you, man? What about you? You think about that, Ken boy? Man, you said it all. Mm. I said it all, right? You said it all. You're right. Yeah, I said it black, all. And and, and it's, it is kind of true. Black people con constantly always do mostly vote Democrats. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know why. Um, I find that pretty interesting. Spanish people too. Don't get me wrong. Spanish people too. A lot of immigrants. Yeah. They tend to always vote uh, Democrats. Oh, we know why, you feel me? They tend to be the per the one that say they want open borders and, you know, they want to give more money to people and shit like that. And immigrants, you know, not all, not all, not all. But for me, when you come from a poor country and you have a country here that, you know, is, is, a, is willing to help you, you know, they want to take as much help as, as they can get. You mm -hmm. feel me? And you can't blame them, but mm -hmm. it's... It, it cripples an economy for me. You do that too much, but um, I don't know, man. You, you you did. You mostly said everything, man. You yeah. said everything. Man, I think man. that's 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 insane. That for years you guys been getting like killed, attacked. Even during the KKK, they could have passed that bill, and then and they never did. Even with the Omar Arbery situation, even, even with the yeah, Trayvon situation, yeah, recently, these people, yeah, yo, they they're not cops. They yeah. wasn't cops. They just specifically targeted people simply because yeah, yeah. it's like, yo, come on, son. Yo, and we ain't getting no anti. We ain't getting no bill. You know what I find? I find uh, amazing shit. that like people always use that. Oh, I, I was scared for my life when it always comes to a black person. You know what I'm saying? You get me? And I like, like ah, I, I, I feel like that's 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 sad on you guys, man. Because mm -hmm. you guys, you guys keep voting. You guys keep voting for these people. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You guys gotta vote for Ice Cube, man. Try to get him to become president. You know what I'm saying? Other shit too, right? Uh. Yo, gotta yo, put your feet down when it comes to you unity. Like, yo, stop supporting communities. Yeah, I heard the motherfucker um, is a relative to like a Chinese-owned business in that black community. 
I'm like, oh mm. shit, yo, y'all gotta stop all of that shit. Stop supporting people who don't give a damn about you. So you're not, you know you're not with, like, yo, you're not with uh, the movement of like trying to combine like the Asian and black. Not, only if they want to work struggle. with us. Yeah, and when I see a Jamaican restaurant or West Indian restaurant or a black restaurant in the Asian community, yo, we doing business. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely want you around. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When I see, you know, Asian men dating, you know, black women. Well, that's a black woman issue. Black women don't like Asian men. You like Asian men? I don't even like Chinese food, boy. It don't stay with you no time. I don't eat what I can't pronounce. Damn, I can't even make that argument. God damn, I just killed my own fucking... But you could be like an Asian woman dating a black man. I'm tired of looking stupid. You know, like if I'm your girlfriend, treat me like your hey. girlfriend. Rada has a point. The side chicks are disrespecting her on social media. I know she wants to be exclusive, but I need these bitches to make me appreciate who you are. Trust me, we both need them. Whenever I see some shit like that economically, then we can talk. You know what I'm saying? I but, yo, I'm other than up. that, sir, like, yo, that's mad disrespectful. Real disrespectful. You know what I mean? And it goes to show you where you, where you, where you are in the, uh, uh, um, in society, especially in this government, this government that's trying to convince you that you're oppressed is the same ones that's mistreating you. But isn't that proving the fact that there, there is government oppression? That they're voting for. They're the Ooh. ones that's voting for. <laughs> it's like, you said it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're voting for. Like, what kind of shit? Yo, yo, that? yo. Okay. Okay, you know what that just made me think then? So are you saying then that the moment black people had the right to vote, right there they had they they, they canceled the whole complaining about slavery thing? I feel like that that no not complaining about slavery, but like complaining about systematic racism. Cause you're voting for these mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah. Write down in the comments below. Let us know what you think. Does that make sense to you? Yo, right? Because the moment you got... A, now you're able to vote. Before, you didn't have no... no. You couldn't vote. Right? So whoever got elected, got elected, regardless of whether they had, were in your favor or not. Mm -hmm. Now, we're in a time that you're able to vote. And you're voting in these people. They claim they have your best interest. But obviously don't. Mm -hmm. Yo. So anything that's happening from the point that you were able to vote, you shouldn't be complaining about systemic racism? So let's review the root causes of all bad things, according to the Democrats. It's one, racism, then racism, then racism. <laughs> when in fact the root cause is them, them, and them. Crime is rising, people are dying, and what's the cause? Liberal policies. The spikes in violence are only in cities run by liberals. If that's not cause and effect, what the hell is? So we got problems. The problems are solvable unless we continue to elect idiot Democrats. The Dems treat the American people like they're groupies. You'll always be there for them when they need you, but when they no longer need you, they don't care whether you live or die because there will always be more groupies as long as they can evade the gunfire. Yo, the way I see it, right? Black black voters, right, are equivalent to a female, right? Um, who said man ain't shit. It's the same equivalent. Why? Because she's picking those men, those ain't shit men, and she's out here complaining about it. That's equivalent. That's the same equivalency. You, you're complaining about systemic oppression, racism, 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 but you're voting for that shit. You know what I'm saying? But Anyways, man, it's your boy, Uneducated Brother. You know how we do it out here in these streets, man. Until next time, one out. Bad boy, baby. Mr. Shakur, can we get a comment from you? Hell no. no. Thug life. No, Thug life. Thug life. That's my comment. What's that mean?